pre-filming so I'm wearing the same shirt as before Hi guys, welcome back to my channel So today I'm doing a review on a book that was released some while ago but I don't think a lot of people actually know about it on the booktube community um, It is Shantaram by Gregory David Roberts Got his name right right there um, And he's an Australian author And the novel is essentially based around his life Although he claims that it is all fictionalised um, And that it isn't actually an autobiography A little bit of background on um, Roberts He is actually a ex-convict So he was in Australian prison for a while And then he escaped and moved to um, India, Bombay, where he lived for 10 years and then he came back and he um, ended up in prison again and in prison he um, started to write the story and after many um, manuscripts, most of them being destroyed and others sort of like tattered and ruined um, he managed to release this book. So the novel is based around a character named Lin who um, escapes from an Australian prison, goes to Bombay to live and there he starts his whole new life and discovers so many things about himself and the people around him and the world. So the novel has a really philosophical sort of point of view. Um, each character really has their own moral standard and their own values and views and how they um, take those views and live their own lives. It's set during the sort of late 70s to early 90s so there's a lot of a political background um, behind India before um, I guess all the Middle Eastern sort of wars and you also hear a lot about Afghanistan and Russia and their conflict there. I really liked that. I really liked being able to sort of learn so much more about, I guess, um, the Asia that we don't, well, that I don't really know about because I'm more from Southeast Asia. The context also um, plays a really big part in how the characters are represented or how they act towards people and how they go about their lives every day. Roberts really praises India in this book. He is in love with India. He's very descriptive of the settings of the places that he goes to and I really enjoyed that for the first maybe 100 pages because then you get to see a really nice um, image of India back in the days and it's just painted out perfectly and you can sort of envision yourself in the um, city or wherever Lin is and it just feels really realistic. Except the plot does sort of drag on for the first 300 pages at least because um, I read it as an ebook version so the um, ebook is only 700 pages as opposed to the novel which is 900 pages I know it is a massive read so I sort of had to endure through it um, get through all the I guess introduction part of it and all the informative part before the story actually takes place however as soon as the story kicks in the plot fart like quickens and you're straight away um, sucked into this world um, where Lin is sort of trying to redefine his life who he is trying not to let everybody know what actually happened in his past but also trying to make up for what he did in Australia. I actually think the plot really um, reflects his mindset where he's sort of trudging through life in the beginning and as soon as he sort of finds his purpose the plot gets faster and you can see that he's striving to do bigger things um, and sort of taking hold of his life and making sure that things go the right way. I think overall I really um, appreciated the meaning of the story and how Lin is trying to find a purpose in his life and he uses all the influences around him, all the people that he meets to sort of come to this conclusion about what life really means and um, how it sits with him I guess and who he really is in general what he wants to do with life and it's such a really big question for me these days because I'm about to um, graduate university and I keep thinking to myself what am I going to do with my life you know who am I going to be and I guess the story is great in that way because it really addresses these questions I'm not saying it's entirely right I don't really agree with everything that they um, went through but the crux of the novel is really interesting and it really gives you a thought-provoking sort of um, read you sort of learn a lot about understanding and accepting who you really are um, and then trying to fix the flaws that you don't really like and also addressing issues like jealousy, love, relationships, loyalty, trust um, all those things are packed into this novel and they're delivered really well I didn't particularly like everything of it though um, I felt that it there were really there were some really emotional parts that really um, got to me but there were also moments where I felt it was super dry and I sort of skimmed through the read. In the end though there was a sense of fulfillment. I really wasn't disappointed. There is going to be a 
second book coming out. So this book is part of a series. This is only the second book, so he's writing the third book, but he hasn't written the prequel to this book yet. It's kind of confusing, but the third book is coming out in October this year. So I am quite excited to pick it up and read it and see um, what happens next in Lin's journey. Except my number one issue for this book is glorifying mobs and gangsters, so like the underworld, um, because Lin finds himself sort of entangled with this these people and and you sort of get a very I guess Hollywood's dramatized version of this world and you sort of see them live this really wealthy lifestyle very safe from everybody they're doing good for the community while whilst also committing all these like crimes I guess and all this violence and I guess it's trying to show that not all gangsters are bad like they're their own family sort of thing they have their own circle of trust their own code of conduct but I guess in the end it sort of made heroes out of them which is very conflicting for me um there was a single message where they kept talking about doing the wrong things for the right reasons and it doesn't really sit well with me other than that the entire novel was actually really meaningful um i love that it was thought provoking that it actually has left an impact on me um normally when i read something after two weeks i sort of kind of forget about it um, but this one has actually stayed for a while it is a recommendation book i don't think i would have ever picked it up and read it out of my own choice um but because this person has said that it was an amazing book that changed his life i figured it's worth a shot and I did endure the entire 300 pages um, just to get to the crux of the novel and it was really worthwhile. So I'm super excited to read the next book. Um, I'm going to give Shantanam 4.5 out of 5 stars because I actually think it was that great of a novel. I know it is a love it or hate it book. Um, there are some people who gave it 1 stars and there are some people who gave it 5 stars. Um, so it is something that is... I guess dependent on you as a burrito. If you have read it, leave a comment down below letting me know if you loved it or not. I think I'm going to go into a more thorough discussion as part of a blog post, so I'll leave a link to that down below as well. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!